cup. So yeah. Ah, you finally returned. Well, did you find the swamp creature? Where is he? I f forgot all about him. I forgot all about. But no, come on. <laughs> the water is. Ah. I thought ah, it was one of those things that returned. it doesn't really matter. Well, did you find the swamp creature? Where is he? I didn't find him. I didn't find him. <laughs> what? You're not getting paid to wander about aimlessly, Grimoire. Get back out there. I don't need to. I don't need to. Final chapter. Buggy's criminal record. Why not? I thought he was our prime suspect. Mm, well, uh, not anymore. Didn't you find photographic evidence of Buggy from last night? Let me see that photo. Here it is. If that's not Buggy, what is it? Custom design, right? I found designs for the costume in a trash can. Not only that, I collected all the pieces of the costume myself. Well, nearly all of them. There's still the one that- But the footprints at the scene of the crime! How can you prove these don't belong to a real creature? Because they're What's not this? the actual thing. I thought there were no records of a footprint anywhere. No public records. The footprints at the crime scene don't match the ones on this page. They were just a product of these slippers. A part of the costume. Mm -hmm. But Grimoire, this costume, it doesn't have claws of any kind. How do you explain the three wounds on the victim's chest? The poker. The prongs match up with the wounds perfectly. The handle's even covered in slime, see? Ah, but this swamp slime was one of the reasons Buggy became a suspect in the first place. Surely this only incriminates the creature further. You'd think so, wouldn't you? But that slime, it's not exactly what you think. It is a swamp juice. This stuff is an uncanny resemblance to the so-called swamp slime. A bunch of it was stolen from the storeroom of the cafe, which reminds me. What is that, exactly? A poisoned hot dog. It's the second reason that the murderer broke into the storeroom. He put this green powder on the entire supply, just to make sure. To make sure of what? To make sure Remington got ill and that returned to his office, no one would eat at the cafe ever again, everyone in the swamp would be poisoned. Actually, Okay, I was just thinking, nobody killed Remington. Remington died by accident. He fell onto the poker. He was ill, so he fell onto the poker. Um, but it was uh, Echo in that he... He was the one doing all of the costume. He was the one who poisoned the hot dog. Just, but he all he wanted to do was uh, get into his conscience or something like that. Uh, just make him change his mind, not kill him. He didn't want to kill him, and he didn't kill him, in my opinion. Um, but we'll see. I think he poisoned the the hot dog to make sure. Remington got ill and had to return to his office. To make sure Remington got ill and had to return to his office. Remington but went not to back kill to his him. office? Alone? Final chapter again, the murder. I've been looking through your evidence, Grimoire. One piece in particular seems critical to me. I think we need to work the out. Video footage? Vincent Vanderpeer filmed it last night. At the exact moment of the murder, I believe. Well, exactly. I think we can both agree these sounds in the background. They're essential in our mystery. Could you talk me through them? Just rearrange the descriptions on the left to match the sounds on the right. Okay. Drag them around and keep swapping until you're happy with the order. And if you want to hear the sounds again, you can tap on them. No problem. I can always check my case file if I want to go over my notes. Okay. Freaking. Uh, ah. oh. 
Okay. Remington rips off some curtain fabric as he falls. That's the ripping, of course. Remington cries out in shock as Boggy appears. That. That's here, I guess. Yeah. Um, culprit grabs the metal poker and stabs Remington. I mean, okay, at this point, I guess so, but that wasn't my theory. Remington lands on the planks outside of his office, that's the last, last one. Corporate drops the metal poker in the office, okay, so the, those two are those two. Creeping, okay, creaking uh, opens Remington's office door. Remington cries out in shock as Boggy appears. Grabs a metal poker. Remington fires his hunting rifle. I think that's it. Yeah, okay, cool. Ah, excellent. There's just two small details bothering me. First of all, if Remington ripped off a piece of his curtains, why wasn't it found at the crime scene? What happened to it? It was inside the headpiece. Turns out the murderer took that piece of fabric and concealed it inside the head of the costume. Then he fled the crime scene to hide all the parts in different areas of the swamp. Ah, well that's my problem. If Remington fired his rifle, how did the assailant survive and manage to escape? Did Remington miss his target? At point blank? A man of his experience? I don't think so. He was In Ill. fact, the answer to that question but... is the very last link in our chain. The one thing that has eluded me so far. I'll drag the clue items from the left onto my drawing here, and we'll see what happens when we compare the pieces I collected with the original oh. design I found. Wait. Hello, I am the murderer. Okay. Yeah, there's no... Wait, you never found the body piece, mm -hmm. the torso. You're right, and I never would have found it. Not lying around, not like the others. But what does this have to do with the murderer surviving the rifle shot? This torso is probably made up of some thick material, something covering the culprit's entire upper body. I believe it may have even been enough to, to soften... soften the impact from a bullet. Aha! Exactly. Well, let's put your theory to the test. Where is that last piece of the costume? Is it here? Crossroad in the big hole in the tree. That's the only place I haven't looked. Where is that la Okay, fine. <laughs> uh, I don't know. In the museum, in that... In that locked door? Where is... <laughs> Who knows? It could be anywhere. Have I seen it? How? We looked everywhere. Not a single clue. Simple. Is it the trunk? He's still wearing oh, it. Oh, the poncho. No. What? He's still wearing it. I don't know what you want with me. Sounds like you two were smart enough to uncover the real criminal in this swamp, and lucky enough to have somebody else deal with him for you. You worked it out. He had his rifle on him. He got half a glance at me and pulled the trigger without hesitation. But why would he do that? You were... you were dressed as Buggy. He shouldn't be pointing his gun at a unique scientific specimen, not to mention his main attraction. You're right. It doesn't make it sense. It doesn't make sense, does it? Not unless you're in on the secret. Okay, uh... Pa -pa 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 no, of course, it does make sense. He's going to kill him. But, um... 
was framed echo was framed to tell me can't be proof that leads me to believe wait was booking disguise echo was booking disguise uh to, okay fine richard remington was here to hunt buggy the hunting leads me to believe richard okay yes the hunting photo leads me to believe Richard Remington was here to hunt Boggy. Yes, final chapter again. The Hunter and the Hunted. A secret society, an order of hunters, seeking out mysterious and elusive creatures. The order goes further than this one man, and much further than this one swamp. The whole thing is kind of distressing. I knew something was wrong as soon as I stepped into that office. I'm glad you finally come around. It's not just But the... what about Remington? He was a member of this... this order? Yes. He made Boggy his own personal project. His own... obsession. For years he hunted the creature. The potential perfect addition to his... collection. But he owned the tourist attraction! He set it up himself, didn't he? He did. It was just his way of forming a legal loophole. Since the area became protected, he and his friends were unable to come here for hunting anymore. Boggy Spog was just a front for his own little game. A man pursuing a creature. A creature that might not even exist. And that's why Remington kept a rifle nearby at all times? Well, exactly. He didn't want to take any chances. Now, don't you see? I did this place a service. Did Boggy a service. That creature, he can live in peace again. Can he? You tried to frame him for murder. You wanted everyone to think you were some kind of ruthless predator? Well, think about it. Once he became suspected of murder, they'd have no choice but to shut this whole place down. Everyone would finally realize they had no business here. Ba -ba -ba -ba. You didn't have the right, that's true, and uh, he's not a killer. But he's not a killer. You're the one who... You're... Detective. You, you. It's... I... It's finished. Well, don't be angry. You should be glad. It's finally time to leave the swamp. You have another job to do. I... I don't know. Not that it makes any difference to somebody like you. But I never intended to kill him. Just to scare him. Yeah, that's he what I him. thought. Boggy wasn't going to let him. I guess he did kill him in the end. Any longer. But, true to form, he had his rifle on him. You worked out the rest yourself. It's still bothering me that that is still a 97%. I thought I found everything. Why is it a 97? I thought, I thought the rest, the, the remaining 3% will be on this chapter, but it's not happening. Give me the rest. Anyway, um, it makes a I wasn't paying attention. I was focusing on the 3%. It does make a difference, I guess, if you're the culprit. It, it makes a difference. Well, Mr. Everstone, I'm afraid you'll still have to come with us. Fortunately, there's a police station just a few miles down the... <laughs> hey, wait! <laughs> uh -huh. Finally, we see what's inside the tree. <laughs> Nice. Okay, that was such a good game. It was pretty short. It was like four hours, five maybe in total. Uh, but I, it was so fun. Maybe a bit easy, cause again I, 
I was able to do all of it myself without I mean I didn't have to look at I, I do still have to like that three percent will bother me but besides that for the rest it was pretty easy Grimoire. but over all oh, oh, well, nice hut what did they decide to do we had Mr. Everstone questioned he was happy to tell us everything he knew a number of rumors going around the department have been confirmed. And Remington's office? Searched, down to the last detail. And, well, we agree with you. But I know what you're thinking. I'd love to put an end to it, just the same as you. But there's always... Are we going after them? We'd better be. To be continued? Nice. That fucking 3%. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, despite that 3% that is going to bother me, the rest was quite easy, actually, but still so much fun. It was mostly a case of, you know, go everywhere and show every single clue, every single suspect to every single suspect. And you'll find your way around. But, you know, it was still so much fun. I loved it. I loved the humor. I loved the drawings. I loved, I loved it. I loved it. So now next up is Tangle Tower, whenever I get it. Hopefully soon. But yeah, we'll play the sequel. Or maybe the original flash game i guess i can play that as well let me know in the comments if you want me to play the original flash game or if you want me to eventually get the second game and do that without the first one but other than that thank you so much for watching i will see you next time with another let's play Bye.